weather with 27 Storm Tracks, Catherine Noel. Welcome back, everyone. We're going to start with a live look outside. This is on our Constellation Cam over East Washington. Dry roads right now. Mostly cloudy conditions. We're pretty quiet. 17 degrees, but it feels like three. It is cold no matter where you are at. We have a decent wind coming from the northeast. This has continued all morning long, and our winds are starting to ramp up a little bit. Speeds around 10 to 15 miles per hour. That will only continue as we go on throughout the afternoon afternoon into our evening hours and even overnight gusts up to 30 miles per hour. So expect a blustery night tonight that will continue into tomorrow. Temperatures will stay, I think, in the low 20s, eventually reaching that throughout later on this afternoon into the evening, but feeling around 10 11 degrees throughout most of the day. Clouds and radar you can see that push in right from the last six hours. More cloud cover headed our way, so we'll get even cloudier because what it is doing, it's arriving ahead of our next snow system that we've been talking about. Probably why you are tuning into weather right now. It is this part of the system that broke off from the low and will eventually transition over southern Wisconsin right now, hitting areas and bringing a decent amount of snow to Nebraska, Iowa, and Kansas. A lot of us have a winter weather advisory in place. This was new for us this morning. It is in place for Dane County counties across and next to Dane and south of it. So this will be in place from 6 this evening until 6 tomorrow evening. Areas to our south and west, they are in a winter weather watch and warning in certain areas. So they do expect it to get a little worse to our areas to our south and southwest. So timing wise, what we can expect pushing into Grant County first, counties like Grant Crawford, Richland, getting it around 9, 10 o'clock tonight, but Overnight, that's when it'll really hit its peak, bringing some moderate to even heavier times of snowfall. Expect a decent amount of snow. I think around the morning commute, it does continue, but it starts to lighten up a little get, bit, getting scattered in certain areas, and then we're clear by midday. Timing could change, though. It has changed so far over the past few days. It's just gotten a little bit pushed back. Snowfall forecast total is what you can expect. I think south of us, 6 to 8. That's what we are forecasting here. South of Madison and near the Illinois border, 4 to 6. North of Madison, from Baraboo to Madison area, 2 to 4, and then 0 to 2 above that. But if this moves about 50 miles even north or south, you'll either get a decent amount more of snow or less. So stay with us on an update. Overnight tonight and tomorrow morning, that will be the worst of it for your drive. Plan to leave early tomorrow, and we could have some blowing and drifting because a breezy night is expected, gusting up to 30 miles per hour for your winds. Tomorrow, 25, the snow is done by about noon, I would say, or 1, 2 o'clock. After that, we do have temperatures very average, at least the second half of the week. The first half of the week, it is a bit colder, and then more snow coming away Saturday and Sunday, but I think a decent amount of us will have to shovel tomorrow right. morning. We'll be ready. Thank you so we much, sure Catherine. <laughs>